It's Ketchup Packets. Hey everybody, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. And this is Ketchup Packets. Today we're back with another band of brothers. We are watching episode 8 called The Last Patrol. Um, that, that doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. Don't like to hear that, but maybe that means that they're finishing up. They're, you know, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe right. the last patrol, not like death, but like complete. There's two ways out of a war. <laughs> Victory yeah. or death. Right. Yeah. So we're hoping that it's the former. Last time on Band of Brothers, we had the uh, assault on Foy. That was extremely difficult and harrowing yeah. and uh, paid for heavily with the lives of Easy Company men. Mm -hmm. We learned what bad leadership will get you. Yes, we did. It gets you into a whole lot of, what do we do? We can't stay here. Oh, crap. Somebody. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Go forward. No, come back. No. <laughs> stay here. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Right. So that was not good. And uh, But now it seems like things are right because we are done with Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dyke or whatever his name was mm -hmm. or Lieutenant Pike or whatever. I can't remember. I think it, yeah, I think it was Lieutenant Dyke. He's, yeah. He's, he's gone, gone. Now. Good. So... We had um, Lipton get promoted, and that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And now we're going in to try and... I don't know exactly where this campaign will end up. Like, yeah. what, are, what are they doing next? I, our ignorance of history really is uh, on display as we watch <laughs> it's, this, it's I guess. making it, uh, you know, it's more of a surprise <laughs> when stuff happens, you know? I guess that's true, yeah. But I do know that we won this war. Yes, that so much is clear. That, the Allies that win. To look forward to, at right? Least. But I know the Russians took Berlin, right? Mm -hmm. So that's like I don't think that's where we're ultimately headed. I mean, that's where they're trying to get to. But I think the Russians get there first. So I don't know exactly what to see for the rest of the campaign. But maybe the last patrol means that we're winding down the actual on the front lines time, and that we'll see something else for the final phase here. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Um, anything else to discuss before we just dive in, or do we just want to see what happens? I mean, I just want to... I can't believe that they've been here for so long. It's yeah. been, like, two years? Well, no, no, no. Year. no June 1944 is D-Day, and okay. now it's January 1945. So, so it's been, months, like, seven months. Yeah, seven yeah. months. It's a That's long wild. time. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's a very long time, and, uh... I can't imagine what it would be like to be there for one day, much less just like <laughs> wake up every morning and I'm still here. Yep. Here I am again. You know, the no, moment your you. eyes pop open, you're like, oh, the war. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. <sighs> again, I mean, it's taken its toll on these guys and we're seeing that in their faces. And yeah, I don't know. Should we see what's up next? Yeah, sure. All right. We're going to get into it then. See what's up next. We have a Patreon link down there in the description. Check that out if you want to. There's full length reactions. They're ahead of the YouTube versions probably done with this series by now over there and uh yeah just give it a shot if you want to otherwise thanks for watching with us band of brothers i just saw a new name in the titles who colin hanks who's that Tom Hanks's son. Oh. He's an actor. Mm -hmm. Toy and Garnier had lost their legs there. Garnier, uh, uh, Gordon was badly hit. Uh, a number God. of other people were killed. Just remembering it all. Mm hmm. Muck died, and Eugene Rowe came to me, and he wanted me to see if I wanted to go look at him, and I said, no, I wouldn't be able to stand that. Oh, and God. I Jesus. didn't go look at him. Uh, after Bastogne, we went to Hagenau. There was another. Just remembering your friends. <laughs> I believe I might be able to live through it. So walk carefully. Yeah, my... Take care of yourself. My fear would just ramp up so much more mm -hmm. once that, that thought crossed my mind. The 101st Airborne had been made famous by what it did in the Battle of the Bulge. Newspapers called them the Battered Bastards of Bastogne. Okay. That's a cool name. When I was finally able to rejoin Easy Company, they looked nothing like the heroes who had just helped win the war. Yeah, they probably don't feel too, uh, no, too good about it. Hey guys, Sergeant Martin. Where you want, Private? Oh. When did we lose this guy? I can't remember. Webster, I just got back from the hospital. Definitely recognize him, but I can't remember yeah. why he was gone. Where's the rest of the guys? This is everybody. 
Yeah. It's like, hey, everyone, and they're like, yeah. about, uh, The Uber, bond is broken. Yeah. Everybody who's not here is dead, man. Right. Don't ask. Report to second, Webster. They'll find a place for you. Next truck up, Webster. You'll find second. Move. Your old buddies are just like, we don't want you anymore. Right. You weren't there, man. They feel let down by your absence, you mm -hmm. know? Who's leading the platoon? Sergeant Malarkey is. What, no officers? I guess you didn't hear. Oh, well, what's that? Make a Malarkey lieutenant. He's on fast track now. Hey, all right. Jackson, help me up, will ya? The vibe is so different than the rest of theirs. Yeah. So Easy Company had a new CO to go along with all the other new faces. The guys I knew were either gone or very different from what I remembered. Yeah. Yeah. They've been through a lot. ...in Market Garden and had been with the company since its formation. But now, because I had missed Bastone, I was treated as a replacement... Well, so was he wounded in Market Garden? Mm, I think so. Yeah. Is this the company CP for Easy? Yes, sir. As you work. That's Colin Hanks. Mm. Lieutenant Jones looking for Captain Spears. He's on his way, sir. What yeah, I recognize him. Captain Spears. Sir, this is uh, Lieutenant Jones. Listen, for Christ's sake, will you go back in the back and shack out? There's some beds back there with fresh sheets. I will, sir. Just trying to make myself useful, sir. Yeah. Lipton doesn't want to stop. He's like Joe, where he just doesn't want to not participate, you know? Yeah. This one comes straight from Colonel Sink, so it's not my idea. There's a three-story building on the enemy side, up the embankment. We know it's occupied, you can have 15 men. I've got the entire battalion on covering fire. When? Tonight, 0100. Yes, sir. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Our West Pointer. Yes, sir. When'd you graduate? June 6th. Oh, he graduated on D-Day. Of last year? D-Day, yes, sir. <laughs> All right, don't get hurt. <laughs> oh my God. Private Webster from 1st Platoon. I just got back from the hospital and L Lieutenant Foley told me to go to 2nd, but Sergeant Malarkey said... Fine, 2nd. Take, uh, Lieutenant Jones. Yeah. Spears has no time for this nonsense. Yep. I gotta say, something I don't think we've said yet is the makeup Come on. in yeah. the show is incredible. You it can really just is. see the, the weathering on their faces just... Right, yeah. Uh, and that, some of that's the acting as well, but right. yeah, you really believe mm -hmm. that they're so worn down. Winters looks totally different now. Mm-hmm. Hey, Sarge. Hey, look what we just scrounged. We got some spots. Hey, uh, OP2. This way? Wait. Shit! Shit no! No! Oh, shit! Whoa! Is that it? I don't know. I think so. Go! 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 Those are whistling. I wonder what yeah. the difference is. What do you know about this patrol thing? Uh, nothing. Oh, come on, Webb. You gotta know something. I don't. Bullshit. You were there, right? The yeah, he heard them mm -hmm. talk about it. Spell it. Are they not supposed to know? Yeah, I don't know. I take it this was already an outpost when you arrived. Mm. There were some doggies from the 79th Infantry, but they left in a hurry. Malarkey is so changed from yeah. who he was at the start. There are three men here in this room that they think should be on the patrol. So just tell them. They just not want to go? What's... Well, if I tell you, you can't let them let you know. Your secret's safe. I don't understand, like... Mm, yeah, me either. They said it in front of him, right? They knew that. Efron? Ah, shit. McClung? And you. Look, that's all I know, I'm sorry. He's trying to get back in the good graces of mm -hmm. the other guys. That's why he's spilling the, the yep. tea. There is a patrol set for tonight. So far, Spears wants McClung. We yeah, we've just fucking heard. Webster here told us. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. All right, let's move. Clear out! Whoa! 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 Gotta get outside. Yeah, exactly. I mean, being inside a building isn't a good place. Or to the be. basement. They're in. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, no, I think it's a nervous response. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Overload of chemicals in your system. Yep. Oh no. Bill Keen, a Tacoa man, was killed because he was carrying a sack of potatoes from one building into another. Damn. 
He was dead before Doc Rowe even heard the call for a medic. Like, isn't any time that's safe. Nope. Hey, let's go. Months and months and months of constantly being on... In danger. On your toes, yeah. Can't believe they're gonna make Malachi lead it. <laughs> Christ, he only lost his five best friends. What the fuck's he got to look for? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, guys. What's with the friction here? Let's right, get all. I let's know. get the camaraderie back on track. I think it's just too much, man. Yeah. They're all over it. It's just like I'm just tired, man. Yeah. So tired. Sergeant Malaki's really in no condition to be on this patrol. And maybe if you offered, you could go in his place. Being that you are an officer. No, they want yeah. someone with experience. And that's a yeah. good thing. But he shouldn't be leading men no. with experience when he doesn't have what is you what are you doing, Webb? Lieutenant Jones wanted to experience combat before the war was over. Trying to make a friend. Don Malarkey had been on the front lines every time Easy Maybe. Company had seen action since D-Day. Wow. If Jeez. it was possible for them to switch places for the patrol, it would be a small moment of justice, as welcome as a hot shower and a fresh uniform. Mm -hmm. So, Webb just thinks the rest of these guys can handle it themselves, and he's trying to give Malarkey a break. Right. What's up, guys? Hey, he's back. <laughs> How you All feeling? Right. As long as you keep your hands off my ass, I'll be fine. Have a Hershey's. <laughs> hey, you guys are fucking Hershey bar. Well, you yeah. get shot in the ass. <laughs> yeah, you get shot in the ass and get a Hershey bar. I heard the crowds are finished. Yeah, well, just to make sure, we got to row across the fucking river tonight. Grab a few and ask them in person. That's yeah. a oh, scary mission. Yeah, when yeah, the mission is go take prisoners, mentioned. that's almost worse than go clear that building, mm -hmm. you know? I feel that I should go on the patrol, sir. I know I could use the experience. Denied. Anything else? <laughs> well, that was swift. There you go. Permission to speak, sir. No! Go away! It looks like Sergeant Malarkey could use a break, sir. I've discussed it with him, and he said that he did not mind if I took his place on the patrol. Okay. Captain Winters. Yes. I'd really like to be on that patrol, sir. Okay. If it's true the crowds are finished, I haven't really done anything. Except deliver mail. People who are trying to get some right. get some game time in. He's got a point about Sergeant Malarkey. Yeah, a point. Yeah, poor Malarkey, man. Ugh. He can't be leading. I'm not sure what they decided. No way. Yeah, these guys aren't gonna listen to yeah, him. Yeah, no. Lieutenant Jones here. He's the ranking officer. And he'll be along as an observer. Sergeant Martin here will lead the patrol. Okay. There you go. The whole battalion will be covering your withdrawal. We've identified targets. Why is he so mad at Webb? Because he knows that's why Malarkey's not doing it? The perimeter around the house. Once that's in place, get your rifle grenades in the first floor window. Get your assault team in quick. Okay. Good. Understood. They know okay. what to do. Yeah. yeah. Stop this is... prisoners. Don't pop the first thing that moves. Clear? Yes, sir. Yeah, you can't just shoot them. You gotta take them with you. Exactly. That's, that's a lot more challenging. Yeah. You speak German, right, Webster? Yeah, a little bit. Good. A little bit. Is that enough? Yeah. Good luck. Thanks, sir. Ten hut. As you were, carry on. Yeah, the rest of them don't give a shit about that stuff. Right. Yeah, that's uh. Little German. For base camp. Mm-hmm. Not personally going in. Martin, right? Yeah, Martin and McClung. Supposed to stay in the rear and give them cover. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's a good first assignment, right? I think so. God. He's getting used to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's this about? I'm not sure. Eating up his sight. Sight's on fire. It's like... Maybe they want the the sights to be blackened or something like that. In the comments, explain that to us. Yeah, if you know. why was he doing that? Any problems? No problems. It's secured to the tree. No sign of any AP How do they get the rope? Do they just have like somebody swim it across? Or yeah, what? I'm not sure. And he's got dinghies. This would be a scary part too, just being on the river. 
Yeah. That's so much gear, mm -hmm. you know. Keep it steady. But you think with just that rope line, it's pretty easy at least. Just tug yourself across. Right. Did they go over? Right away. Start again. <laughs> oh, God. Not a good start. Well, if that's your one error, that's a good yeah, error right. to have, though. <sighs> What's it like to be that guy who's on your first mission after going to West Point, you know, Army College, yeah. and yeah. now here you are in the war? In tubes. Oh. I could see this being a preferable first mission instead of getting, you know, shelled. And right, exactly. Instead whatever. of like a large scale battle, yeah. I, like a sneak in and take prisoners is probably a good mission, yeah, but even still, to have it be the real deal the first time mm -hmm. is so. So wild to think about each time you see it. Is that rifle grenades in the first mm -hmm. floor windows? Whoa. Did you just oh, get blown up by your own grenade? Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, that is what just happened. Bring me the wounded man. Cross me to shut up. Ramirez, pick up Jackson. We're moving out. Come on, we're Oh my god. Damn, dude. Let's go. Move. Move. Come on. Okay. He's setting the explosives. Mm -hmm. Come on, we got so. It's incredible that that worked. It is. So they've got some prisoners, and now they ha can just leave, and the building will blow up, and they, yep. the guys will, will fuck off. Oh my god! Go! Crossfire. Go! Terrifying. In the middle of the night, too. Mm-hmm. Good going, guys! Yeah. It seems to... Yeah, they had to have enough space to get the Germans back with them, yeah. I can't tell what's going on! Yeah. It's chaos. It is funny to think that they were just on, like, either side of the river. Yeah. Or they just weren't shooting at each other. No, nobody wants to do yeah. anything. Just being on the river is so scary. Yeah, so out in the open. We made it back. Where are the prisoners? I'm gonna get a medic. Got this. All right, Jones. Here it is. Oh my God. Oh, fuck. Whoa! Can't kill the prisoners. This was for nothing. No! 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 no. Jesus Christ! Light, I need some light, give me some light. Oh, that's all I got. Alright, let's get him out of here, let's get him out of here. Guys, come on, help stop him. Yeah, he's just... It's so scared. Yeah. He's not gonna die, but... I hope not. Yeah. It doesn't seem like his injury is bad enough. He's just, he might die of yeah. freaking out. Right. No, what the hell? What? Oh! What? what? I don't what was know. the injury even? I'm confused. Internal? Yeah. I don't know. Jesus. Told him to wait. That was the grenade, wasn't it? I think yeah, so. Jackson was 20 years old. Oh my god. His family, I'm sure, got a telegram from the War Department saying he died a hero on an important mission that would help win the war. Or maybe the the Germans had a, another explosive. Stretcher in a dank basement in Hagenau, crying out in agony while his friends looked on helplessly. He was just one more casualty in a war that was supposed to be all but over. Yeah, damn it. When you're brush side, he come to run cakes. These guys better give us something good. Mm -hmm. Status? 
Private Jackson took a grenade for ag rushing the enemy OP. Yeah, it's from the enemy. Yeah. It was his own. Oh, no. No. Yeah. It's not your fault. Talk you see the way Martin mind. looks annoyed every time Jones speaks? Yeah. I think it's gonna be like that for a while. Yeah. I've certainly done that in video games. Yeah. Throw a grenade in and then run into the building and been like, oh, sh just threw that grenade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Jackson's dead. Yeah, we heard. Another one? No way. What Why? for this time? You leave someone in the bank. Yeah. Yeah, we did. So oh the yeah, the last chair. I thought they took three. Do you want to just be standing there like that? I feel like. He knows we lost a man. You're asking for it. He also knows you picked up two prisoners who talked. About what? OB, uh, supply trouble, Hitler's favorite color. <laughs> I don't know, none of it gets us across the river. What's the point? He gave him a successful patrol, now he wants to. Successful. Yeah. The men are mustard, if you want me to brief him, I'm gonna. It's the same roster as last night. The same the guys? Juice. Well, mostly. I guess, I mean, you know they can do it, but... Hey, yeah. Jets. Andy, you like give him a break. I well, wish you good luck tonight, because I'd be expecting more of the same. Okay. So we need prison more prisoners? Just on our way, sir. All right. I guess. So I'll brief him now, sir. No, I'll do it. I mean, Lieutenant Spears really seems unflappable. Yep. I'm proud. I just saw Colonel Sink. He's proud, too. In fact, he's so proud, he wants you to do another patrol across the <laughs> Oh, excellent. <laughs> Great. Thanks. We recovered all the boats. So we'll be setting off from the same place we did last night. We're not changing the plan any, sir. Won't they expect it to this time? It'll be 0, 0200 hours instead of 0, 0100. Is that clear? Yes, sir. sir. What? Okay. This is... It seems like you'd want to change yeah. it up. I want you all to get a full night's sleep tonight. Which means in the morning, you will report to me that you made it across the river into German lines. We're unable to secure any live prisoners. Interesting. Mm-hmm. He wants them to lie. Mm -hmm. He's like, this is stupid. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look sharp for tomorrow. Moving off the line. Yeah, he is not going to risk their lives yep. when the prisoners they already got didn't provide us anything. <laughs> Moving off the line. <laughs> Don't like screw this up, yeah, Jones. Up. He's gonna, is he going to snitch? I really hope not. I think you might be honest. There it goes! Hey! It's a good explosion sound. Mm -hmm. That was quite a that was a long fuse. Yeah, time delay. Yeah. Regiment has seen fit to promote you to first lieutenant. Congratulations. Good luck. Okay, well. Saw his combat action, now we yep. have to move on up the chain. Lucky him. Well, not just like he put in the work, you know, yeah. that's what West Point does. Mm -hmm. So a second patrol never happened. Word was, Captain Nixon wrote up a bogus report and regiment never got wise. Wow. We pulled out of that's, that's good leadership, I would say. Yep. I mean, you want chain of command to mean something, but... Right. Colonel Sink's a bit unhappy with the appearance of your uniform. He says it's not befitting to your rank. What's this? Oh, clears. Congratulations, Major. Nice. Right. He earned their respect. That was easy. No, I don't think it was. No, I guess. I mean, it was pretty yeah. damn hard. Here. Here you go. He's got their respect, too, now. That's right. That's nice. It's just about them feeling like you're with them or you're an outsider, mm -hmm. you know? In America, things were already beginning to look like peacetime. You couldn't get a hotel room in Miami Beach, it was so crowded. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay. Whoa. How could anyone ever know of the price paid by soldiers in terror, agony, and bloodshed if they'd never been to places like Normandy, Bastogne, or Hagenau? Yeah, it really is yeah. impossible to conceptualize without shows like this right, to make it yeah. real for you. I was going to say, we, we make TV shows about it and watch <laughs> them. That's yes. how we understand it. 
Well, there you go. Yeah, that's wow. an ominous one there. Soon yeah. they would be entering Germany, the final stage of this whole campaign. Yeah. And none oh. of them even get to kill Hitler. No. Yeah. Hitler wouldn't even let us have that. He no. had to steal that honor and be the guy who kills Hitler himself. <laughs> yeah. That bastard. Coward. Yes. Um, I've never wow. seen that movie Downfall. Have you seen that movie mm -hmm. with like no. Hitler's last days in his bunker? No, I it haven't. Could be an interesting movie to watch sometime. I feel like I've seen scenes from it. That though. meme scene yeah, of him right. ranting that people put different captions on about yep. him ranting other things. Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, this was interesting. I liked the Colin Hanks performance. He he was good at being like the the fresh new guy mm -hmm. that you you know you could really see his inexperience. I mean that's a, a vibe he generally has in most movies that I've or you know shows or whatever that I've seen him in. He sort of comes off as the the naive guy or the green guy mm -hmm. who doesn't who gets in over his head, I guess. Right. But you know I and I expected him to you know break under the pressure but he he handled it well and did the thing exactly know? he seemed like he wanted to go out there to see the real war and he got to see the real war so mm -hmm. that was you know he adjusted and he never you never know if someone's going to like yeah. have what it takes to be in it until they're in it i guess is the is what you it's a high stakes scamble yeah and every single new person you meet that's i think part of the reason why like they get the camaraderie, you know, they develop the camaraderie, and then it's really hard to let someone from the outside in. Mm -hmm. so it's like, I know what all these guys are capable of, but I don't know what you're capable yeah. of yet. Or, so. or what you will, you know, what your yeah. dispositions are, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you step up in a crisis, or do you freeze and shake? And, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder about the thing at the end with, like, disobeying orders and not sending them on a patrol. How long... After that happened, are they able to talk about that being what happened? You right. Know? Like yeah. I know, I assume now nobody would get in trouble or anything. Like no one would have anything added to their record or whatever. But like you can't do that. No, you're really <laughs> you really not so supposed to. I, you know, would, does the military have any problem with that being part of the depiction of what they did? You know, that their men were disobeying orders right. because they decided they weren't the right thing. And it was Winter's call. Yeah. So, you, I mean. I imagine that he would get court-martialed for that, probably, you know? Right, but after, is there, is there such a thing as statute of limitations for, like, yeah, deliberately sure disobeying orders? I don't know, It's just, I'm curious about that sort of thing, and because I was surprised to see that, especially a man like Dick Winters would just decide to violate the chain of command, you know? But I guess it's because he values his, his yeah. men's lives and the, the contribution they've made so much. I feel like, you know... There's got to be, I mean, we have this idea of the military as being like, no, rules are rules are rules, right? Mm -hmm. But at a certain point, when you're like World War II war heroes, you know, from Easy Company, who <laughs> yeah. underwent, you know, it's like... It's like we know I, what to do. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't send them on that patrol that one time. You know, I, I, I'm i sure they're just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> exactly. But I do see the other side of it, though, that, like, in order for an organization like this to function, you need the chain of command right. working. You need people at the top to be able to pass orders down that are followed so that the people at the top are actually making the decisions they believe they're making. Right. You know? Like, you can't have the agency of every single person involved at play in the decisions no. for this for this kind of thing. Especially either, right? when the stakes are as high as they are and the danger is as high, you know. Right. Well, for, for one person in the chain of command to say no, we're not doing that, is like exactly could put any number of the mm -hmm. you know, and it's all it's so, a larger right. operation too. So like exactly, all those little yeah. moving pieces need to be moving together. Or the the watch stops working. You know, right? So to speak. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why I do understand why it's a why there's rules against that and why it's a bad thing to violate the chain of command. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting to see an instance of it where it was the right thing. Right. And it's like how could you? I don't know. Yeah. How do you determine that you're making the right call in deciding I'm violating the chain of command? Right. You know? I mean, I guess it's about the commanders being upfront with you about their reasoning and their thought process mm -hmm. because he, you know, Winters just didn't see any good reason to do this after what the first one had accomplished. So, right. Yeah. If he had a good reason to send a second patrol, he should have told him, I guess, and mm -hmm. then he wouldn't have uh, done that. And, you know, you can imagine. I, I'm thinking Winters is one of the survivors that we're seeing like at the beginning of each episode mm -hmm. yeah you know? i mean they somebody said that in a talking head at the beginning when they said i don't know how he survived but he did oh so, yeah okay yeah so like 
at some point he told somebody mm -hmm. yeah and he's fine you know exactly not in jail so someone in the chain of command must have said to themselves like yeah that was kind of a bad idea in the first place yeah. you like how do you in, in hindsight you know what yeah. that's fine that was, we won anyway so just, it's all good that was a bad order <laughs> exactly sorry yeah yeah Ah, well, we're almost at the end here now. Two more to go, and uh, they're heading into Germany for the final phase, I guess. Wild. I okay. hope that we don't lose any more people we know and love. <laughs> but I'm, uh, I think we probably will. It's not over until it's over, right? Yes, right. Yeah. This has been an astonishing TV show. Mm -hmm. I see why it's at the top of everyone's lists of best TV shows, because yeah. uh, it earns that spot. Definitely. So, We'll be happy to be concluding it soon. Uh, join us for the next one. Until then, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. This is Ketchup Packets. Bye, everybody. <laughs>